Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Franchise Pearson, and welcome to my channel. Happy Friday, happy Friday. It is September 20th of 2024, 10.43 in the p.m. Let's say it together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I have been getting a number of emails in relation to this eye issue that happened in Arizona. Yes, people had severe eye pain when they were at a Trump rally. I do believe this is in relation to Trump demise, believe it or not, Trump's demise. You see, people had eye irritation. And when I show you what I believe is the connection, I think you'll think it through and agree. Check it out. Tonight, a recent Donald Trump rally in Tucson is raising questions. Multiple people who attended the former president's rally in Tucson last week have reported severe eye pain since the event. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Cuddy the Divine. I'm Mark Curtis. Six people who sat behind the former president on stage say they experienced eye irritation so bad they actually had to seek medical attention. 12 News journalist Jonathan McCall joins us with this developing story. Jonathan? Hey, Mark Kribe, good evening. We actually just got a chance to talk with one of those women on stage at the time who says that her eye, her eye pain so severe after that rally last Thursday, she had to go to the ER to get treatment, and she says today was the first day she has not had blurred vision since then. Myra Rodriguez was on stage when President Trump walked out onto stage at the Linda Rodenstadt Music Hall in Tucson last Thursday for that rally. She was sitting on stage right behind him. She says after that rally, she says she started noticing. Yes, eye irritation, eye pain. It's something else, people. You know, I teach the five C's of clues, codes, colors. The confirmation time and conclusion. So listen to your first clue. The first clue is in man's number. He was created on the sixth day, that is Adam. I've been talking about the last few weeks, the number six has been utilized a lot and it will be in the future I'm predicting because Trump will be six feet under, but it will not be the real Trump. It will be a dummy, a substitute. The goal is to take him down because he is the first aspect of taking down America. If you watch my videos from yesterday, you'll find out that the uh, couple that found that uh, person named Joseph who shot five people um, there were reportedly 50 vultures, 50 vultures in the vicinity, pecking away and eating that body, that corpse. The 50 represents every state. The body to me represented DJT, believe it or not, it's symbolic and it's deep. So don't forget to watch that particular video. I'll show it to you right quick. It all ties together. This is what they're doing. They keep giving us all these hints. It's peculiar, I know. It'll take you time to wrap your mind around it. But hey, that's how I go in this symbolic world we live in. And here that video is, it is. Does 50 vultures mean 50 states of our union? This man said he found, well, yeah, he did say he saw 50 vultures around that body that was, of course, dead. Why did he use 50? It's my humble opinion because we got 50 states. Now they got the big one out the way, which is what? D JT, now you go for the actual body, which is us. Every state, one at a time. One vulture for every state. It's deep, y'all. Check out that video. Now I digress. Let's go back to this here. Uh, in this particular one, Listen to this number. Again, number six. Watch him say it. Six. Listen. News at six. I'm Cuddy the Divine. I'm Mark Curtis. Six people who sat behind the former president on stage. Six people who sat behind the... Mm-hmm. They all work together, baby. Listen. So much for joining us for 12 News at six. I'm Cuddy the Divine. I'm Mark Curtis. Six people who sat behind the former president on stage say they experienced... That's because Trump is going six feet under. Now watch out. The lady who testified, she got her glasses on, okay? And then she's gonna be wearing this. You see, you see this design here? See these patterns and designs? 
this reminds me of Egyptian. Egyptian. This lady says she got some eye problems. Okay, when I think about the Egyptian, I think about hieroglyphics. You understand the hieroglyphics, which is Egyptian, the sun gods, Ra and Akhenaten. This is what this is about to me. This is all Egyptian. This is Egyptian. They're speaking without speaking. Do you understand? This is Egyptian. So to me, she has this on because she's speaking. She's speaking without speaking. She's talking about her eyes, but I'm looking at how she's dressed. Plus it's the black and white. When you play black and white, the power stay in the middle and they control both sides. Do you understand? That's how it works. It's, it's symbology, but it's power. Okay, we, so we got the six. Man was created on the sixth day. Satan wants to kill us in the future. One vulture for every state. The man said he saw 50 vultures on that corpse. That corpse was DJT. That's just the way I feel about it, people. Got to work with me, it's deep. And so now, like I said, what she's got on is what? Hieroglyphics, Egyptian. Just let you know these, these dark gods are running this, this whole caper, okay? Now, listen to this video. Listen to the number here, watch this. Reporters of former President Donald Trump that were allowed to sit behind his stage at his Tucson rally last week tell the News 4 Tucson investigators they left with mysterious injuries to their eyes. News 4 Tucson's chief investigator reporter, Course Nylander, is live outside the Tucson Music Hall downtown. Course, what are we learning about their situation? Yeah, you know, Monica, this is where thousands of people came out to hear former President Donald Trump speak last week. There was a group of 48 people allowed to sit on stage. Here you see it? A group of 48. It's deep, y'all. Watch this. Monica, this is where thousands of people came out to hear former President Donald Trump speak last week. There was a group of 48 people allowed to sit on 48, like April 8th. What happened on April 8th? That was the eclipse. What happened with the eclipse? People covered their eyes because of the sun. Am I right? That's right. They're talking symbolically. They're talking about an eclipse. They had to cover their eyes because of X they came, they came over, right? But notice how they presented this thing. The red and black. And watch, I'm gonna turn the sound down. I want you to see how they started it off. It's all image projection. This is how they do it. I learned this when I was in TV back in the day. See the red and black there? Then the red and black behind him? Then he says 48. He says 48, in my humble opinion, because it's part of a script. It's part of a script, just like the guy said it was six people. Now you got 48. Yo, know, Monica, this is where thousands of people came out to hear former President Donald Trump speak last week. There was a group of 48 people allowed to sit. Why not 49 people? Why not 50? Why not 10? 48? Okay, I'm going to keep playing the silly games. Then listen to this here. Well, first tonight, a mystery following former President Trump's stop in Tucson last week. Several supporters have said they were left temporarily blind following the rally. The former president and current Republican nominee made his first stop after the presidential debate right here in Tucson. People were lined up for hours ahead of the event and hundreds even had to be turned away. According to the city of Tucson, over 40 calls for heat-related illness was made, but that's not where this story ends. Kagan 9's Blake Phillips has been following the story for days now. He joins us live from the Linda Ronstadt Music Hall. Blake, what have you... Right, let's look at that imagery here. See the stage? Red and black, right in front of you. The stars, red and black. All set right in your face, red and black. Red and black is sacrifice, people. It means sacrifice, like death. Okay, it's right in your face. Yeah, let's look at some more imagery. Same lady being interviewed with her husband. Show you what she got on. She's got on the red and the black, saying she was rushed to the hospital. See the red and black? Red and black is sacrifice. This is how we deal with, this is how we teach the five C's of clues, codes, colors, confirmation, time, and conclusion. Is this coincidence? I'll let you decide. Now check this out. 
They were in Arizona. Arizona is the 48th state. Shut your mouth, Pearson. Yeah, 48. What happened on April 8th? There was an eclipse. So you mean to tell me, wait a minute. The man said 48 people. Right? And they're in the 48th state. Correct. And what happened on April 8th? There was an eclipse. Yeah. And people cover their eyes because, you know, well, I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Let's look at this here. On April 8th, if you didn't wear sunglasses, what, could it hurt your eyes? Yes, looking directly at the sun without proper eye protection during the April 8th, 2024 solar eclipse could cause serious and eye, serious and permanent eye damage. The sun's rays can burn the retinas. Okay, I believe they're talking about the X, thus the eyes. So if you look too hard, it would hurt you. But the bottom line is on April 8th, they were talking about the X. And what happened? An X came across the earth. Well, I'm telling you, Trump is going to be X'd. Do you feel me? The 48th state, April 8th. You see how it all comes together? Now look at this here. I comes out to 35 in or, on ordinal. The 35th day of the year is February 4th. I comes out to ordinal. The 35th day of the year is February 4th. February 4th is 2 4. 24th letter of the alphabet is X. And it's also 46 in reverse. I is 46 in reverse. 46 is disaster. JFK died at 46 years old. George Floyd died at 46 years old. Uh, George Orwell died at 46 years old. 46, death and destruction. Is this all coincidence? I'll let you decide. This took place on September 12th. September 12th, this happened. People started having blindness immediately. Temporary blindness, September 12th, okay? And on December 8th of 1969, Katie Hobbs, the governor, that's her birthday. December 28th versus September 12th. September 12th, 1228, make them both 1224, the year. Difference is 322. Again, 9-12-2024 versus 12-28-2024. We got it right? We got it right. The difference is three months, two weeks, and two days. What's 3 two, two? That's skull and bone. I rest my case, baby. I rest my case. I believe this thing was done on purpose. They're playing with us, people. They're toying with us, but they're telling us Donald J. Trump and the X go together. The 24th letter of the alphabet is X. People in the first row, yeah, okay. Had to get rushed to the hospital, okay, I get it. It won't be long, people. It won't be long. Check out my videos. The Bible said he didn't do it until the end shall be saved. They're going to take DJT out because they know that's going to hurt us and take the wind out of our cell. But don't let it take the wind out of your cell because your hope and your faith and your trust is in Jesus, our Lord. Talk to you guys tomorrow. God bless.